Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today, we're going to do the vocabulary review sentences for Second Grade Journeys, Lesson 5. Our anchor text is Teacher's Pets. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and a piece of paper, and you're going to write your numbers 1 to 16. Or if your teacher has given you this worksheet, get your worksheet. It has the same numbers 1 through 16, but it has the sentences on it. So if you need to, push pause, get your pencil and your paper, and you'll be ready to go. Let's review our vocabulary words. Do not write them. Just read them and say them aloud. A, wonderful. B, noises. C, quiet. D, sprinkled. E, share. F, noticed. G, bursting. H, suddenly. And again, we're just reading them. You don't need to write them yet. We're not at number one. Here's our learning target. Repeat after me. I can use pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits each sentence. Success criteria. That means how will you know you are successful at using pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits each sentence? Well, just like these people are climbing the mountain and they want to reach the top and they go one step of a at a time, we're going to take our time and steps. And here are our steps for success. To reach our learning target, I will. Number one, read each sentence or group of words. Number two, choose the vocabulary word that best fits each sentence. Three, write each word on my paper or whiteboard. So number one, the library is a blank and calm place to read. Number one, the library is a blank and calm place to read. So let's choose, is it the library is a wonderful and calm place to read? Or B, the library is a noises and calm place to be. The library is a quiet and calm place to be. Or the library is sprinkled and calm place to be. Using the picture clues and what you know about libraries, what word makes the best sense? Quiet. It can be a wonderful place, but another word for quiet is calm. So that's your clue in the sentence. The library is a quiet and calm place to read. And it says curl up with a good book. So for number one, write quiet. Q-U-I-E-T. Quiet. The library is a quiet and calm place to read. Number two. The little boy was blank with happiness. The little boy was blank with happiness. Look at your picture clue. How do you think he's feeling? The little boy was share with happiness. The little boy was noticed with happiness. The little boy was bursting with happiness. Or the little boy was suddenly with happiness. How do you think he's feeling? If it's his birthday party. Bursting. The little boy was bursting or overflowing. He just can't contain it. He's so excited. He's jumping up and down. The little boy was bursting with happiness. Bursting. Overflowing with happiness. B-U-R-S-T. That's the root word burst. And then I-N-G. He was so happy. He was overflowing with happiness. Bursting. B-U-R-S-T. ING. If I go too fast, push pause and then push play after you're done writing your word. Number three, we blank sugar on top of the cake. We blank sugar on top of the cake. Would it be 
We wonderful sugar on top of the cake. We noises sugar on top of the cake. We quiet sugar on top of the cake. Or we sprinkled sugar on top of the cake. What is the picture showing us? That is your clue. Sprinkled. Remember, sprinkled means to shake lightly. We sprinkled sugar on top of the cake. We sprinkled sugar on top of the cake. Sprinkle is the root word, and the D at the end makes it past tense. We did it already. We did it in the past. S-P-R-I-N-K-L-E-D. Sprinkled. We sprinkled sugar on top of the cake. Number four, the dog blank ran across the street. The dog blank ran across the street. Would it be the dog share ran across the street? The dog noticed ran across the street. The dog bursting ran across the street. Or the dog suddenly ran across the street. What makes the most sense, given where the word is in the sentence and our picture clues? It would be suddenly, like all of a sudden he ran across the street. The dog suddenly, or very quickly, without notice, ran across the street. The dog suddenly ran across the street. Sudden, S-U-D-D-E-N. Lee, L-Y, suddenly, the dog suddenly ran across the street. Number five, there were loud blank at the party. Look at your picture clues. What do you think it is? There were loud wonderful at the party. There were loud noises at the party. There were loud quiet at the party. Or there were loud sprinkled at the party. Look at your picture clues. Noises. There were loud noises at the party. There were loud noises at the party. Noises is spelled N-O-I-S-E-S. -S. Noises. More than one noise is noises. Number six. It was nice of her to blank her treat. It was nice of her to blank her treat. So notice she has a treat and her dad has some treats, has some of her treats. So what does that mean? It was nice of her to share her treat. It was nice of her to notice her treat. It was nice of her bursting her treat. Or it was nice of her suddenly her treat. What do you think makes sense there? What should she do with her treat if her father also has some? Share. She said, here, Dad, you can have some of my treat. It was nice of her to share her treat. S-H-A-R-E has the silent E, makes the A say its name. Share. It was nice of her to share her treat. And she's also pretty excited to have that treat. I would be too if I had some cotton candy. Number seven, I got a blank grade on my test. Look at the picture clue. How does the boy feel about his grade? I got a wonderful grade on my test. Look at his face. Do you think he feels wonderful about it? Or I got a noises grade on my test. I got a quiet grade on my test, or I got a sprinkled grade on my test. Wonderful. I got a wonderful grade on my test. That means I was really excited about my grade. I got a great grade on my test, or wonderful. W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L. Wonderful. I got a wonderful grade on my test. Number eight, I blank that the sign was missing from the door. 
I blank that the sign was missing from the door. This is kind of a tricky one. I share that the sign was missing from the door. I noticed that the sign was missing from the door. Or I bursting the, that the sign was, was missing from the door. Or I suddenly that the sign was missing from the door. I noticed, that means you saw, that the sign was missing from the door. N-O-T-I-C-E-D, noticed. I noticed that the sign was missing from the door. Number nine, we blank water on the hot grass. We blank water on the hot grass. What's happening in that picture clue? We wonderful water on the hot grass. We noises water on the hot grass. We quiet water on the hot grass. Or we sprinkled water on the hot grass. We sprinkled water on the hot grass. So I have a question to you, boys and girls. Have you ever ran through a sprinkler when it was hot outside and it sprinkles or shakes or puts water on you to cool you off? So we sprinkled water on the hot grass. Sprinkled, S-P-R-I-N-K-L-E-D, sprinkled. Number 10. Blink, the power went off and it was dark. Blink, the power went off and it was dark. Would it be share, the power went off and it was dark? Noticed, the power went off and it was dark? Bursting, the power went off and it was dark? Or suddenly, the power went off and it was dark? Suddenly, S-U-D-D-E-N-L-Y. All of a sudden, the power went off and it was dark. Suddenly, S-U-D-D-E-N-L-Y. Suddenly. Number 11, you have to be blank in the baby's room. So look at your picture clues. You have to be wonderful in the baby's room. You have to be noises in the baby's room. You have to be quiet in the baby's room or you have to be sprinkled in the baby's room. Well, if the baby's sleeping, you have to be quiet. Notice the baby's sleeping. You have to be quiet in the baby's room. Q-U-I-E-T. Q-U-I-E-T, quiet, because you don't want to wake the baby up. Number 12, the water balloon was blank and spraying water. Ooh, look, the cat put their sharp paws on the water balloon. So what would make sense? The water balloon was share and spraying water. So what is going on in that picture? The water was noticed and spraying water. The water balloon was bursting and spraying water. Or the water balloon was suddenly and spraying water. Uh, what makes sense? Bursting, the water balloon is bursting in this picture. The water balloon was bursting and spraying water. The water balloon was bursting and spraying water. Number 13, I could hear many blank in the neighborhood. I could hear many blank in the neighborhood. Look at the context clues. I could hear many wonderful in the neighborhood. I could hear many noises in the neighborhood. I could hear many quiet in the neighborhood. Or I could hear many sprinkled in the neighborhood. Mm 
Well, given our picture clues, you see noises. People are covering their ears and people are playing loud noises like the dogs barking as well. So I could hear many noises in the neighborhood. N-O-I-S-E-S, -E number 13, noises. N-O-I-S-E-S, -E noises. If I'm going too fast, like I think I did in the last slide, push pause. Number 14, I blank that my teacher had a new shirt on. And the new shirt says, I love my second graders, Mrs. Mueller. I blank that my teacher had a new shirt on. I share that my new teacher had a shirt on. I noticed that my teacher had a new shirt on. I bursting that my teacher had a new shirt on or I suddenly that my teacher had a new shirt on. Noticed, I noticed or saw that my teacher had a new shirt on. Noticed, N-O-T-I-C-E-D, noticed, N-O-T-I-C-E-D. I noticed that my teacher had a new shirt on. Do you notice things like that? when someone's wearing something new? I noticed that my teacher had a new shirt on. Number 15, Tony read a blank book at school. Tony read a blank book at school. Look at your context or picture clues and where the word is in the sentence. Would it be Tony read a wonderful book at school? Tony read a noises book at school. Tony read a quiet book at school. Or Tony read a sprinkled book at school. Well, if you notice that picture, wonderful. Both of those pictures are similar, just like the emoji with the thumbs up and SpongeBob jumping up for joy. Tony read a wonderful book at school. Wonderful, wonder and full, W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L, wonderful. Tony read a wonderful book at school. Last one, number 16. She got to blank her pictures with the class. She got to blank her pictures with the class. She got to share her pictures with the class. She got to notice her pictures with the class. Whoops, sorry. She got to bursting her pictures with the class or she got to suddenly her pictures with the class. What is she doing? She's sharing or showing or having people look at her pictures with her class. She got to share her pictures with the class. So she's saying, hey, look at these. I'm going to share my pictures with the class. She got to share her pictures with the class. S-H-A-R-E, share. S-H-A-R-E, share. All right, let's check our work. Number one, quiet, Q-U-I-E-T, quiet. Number two, bursting, B-U-R-S-T-I-N-G, bursting. Three, sprinkled, S-P-R-I-N-K-L-E-D. Four, suddenly, S-U-D-D-E-N-L-Y, suddenly. Number five, noises, N-O-I-S-E-S, -E noises. Number six, share, S-H-A-R-E, share. Number seven, wonderful, W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L, wonderful. Eight. Noticed, 
N-O-T-I-C-E-D, noticed. If you need to, push pause. Make sure you have all these words. Quiet, bursting, sprinkled, suddenly, noises, share, wonderful, noticed. Then once you make sure you have written all these words, push play again. And we'll do 9 through 16. 9 is sprinkled. S-P-R-I-N-K-L-E-D, sprinkled. Suddenly, S-U-D-D-E-N-L-Y, suddenly. 11, quiet, Q-U-I-E-T, quiet. 12, bursting, B-U-R-S-T-I-N-G, bursting. 13, noises, N-O-I-S-E-S, -E noises. 14, noticed. N-O-T-I-C-E-D, noticed. 15, wonderful. W-I-N-O-W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L, wonderful. And finally, 16 is share, S-H-A-R-E. If you need to push pause, make sure you've spelled these words correctly. 9 is sprinkle, 10 suddenly, 11 quiet, 12 bursting, 13 noises, 14 noticed, 15 wonderful, 16 share. And once you're ready, push play if you have pushed pause. Nice work. You have mastered your vocabulary words. On the top of your paper, just like Winnie the Pooh and Tigger are reflecting, looking at their reflection in the puddle. Let's reflect on your learning target. I can use pictures and context clues to fill in the word that best fits each sentence. How do you think you did? Four, I could teach this lesson. I easily selected all the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Three, I was able to select most of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. Two, I was able to select some of the vocabulary words that fit each sentence, or one, I was not able to select any of the correct vocabulary words that fit each sentence. How do you think you did? Four, three, two, or one? Let's reflect on your, uh, on your participation. How well did you hit the target by following class expectations? Were you on task? Did you do your work and pay attention? Four, three, two, or one? Four, I'm an expert. I was fully engaged in trying. I participated the whole time. Three, I'm a master. I was mostly engaged in trying. Two, I'm an apprentice. I sometimes tried. Or one, I'm a novice. I had a hard time participating today. So how do you think you did? Write your uh, reflection on the top. Thank you, boys and girls, for doing the vocabulary review with me today. I hope you had fun. Have a great day.